Mystery? 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 No, Mr. E! We can do any customization. So whatever people have in their mind, call us and then we will make it. V, what do you have here? What, what are you working on? This is a Malibu. Mm -hmm. I see a 52 volt, right? Mm -hmm. No, 72, 72 volt, 51 <laughs> amp hour. Sabaton controller. Is this an 80 amp? Mm, 100 amp. 100 amp. All right. And uh, what size motor is he getting? Oh, he's Five getting a 5,000. All right, so there's a lot going on. I see this over here. Is this yours, the the spring? Is yeah, that yeah, your no, spring? Yeah, it's just some uh, color that Mac was like, yo, you should do this. I was like, all right. Basically powder coated, just to Caffeine match that? my handlebar. Is, is that for the RX? Or for yeah, the, it's gonna uh, be for the RX. Oh, oh. Did you see Santos way? Nope. Is it done? No, nah, he's still building it. But it looks nice. Oh, so, yes. The last time I hear these were painted, right? Yeah. Oh, no, no. These powder coated. This was up there. And then he got this powder coated and all his accents. So. All right, so these are his dropouts, right? Yeah. Hello. Uh, his spring, no uh, handlebars? Um, he do? ordered them. Oh. And motorcycle tires? Yeah, Michelin. The Michelin. So s some people use Shinkos, right? Mm -hmm. And, and Shinkos is the motorcycle tire. Yeah. And but this other people I see using Michelins. Why? What, what's the difference? They're just. What's the difference between the Shinko and this, Mackie? Uh, well, yeah, it's, a bigger, it's a bigger tire size, but it's also a super moto profile. So it's more different, different compound, but okay. it has um. It's almost in like a triangular shape, so when you take leans and when you make corners, mm -hmm. it's it's a bit, it has more traction. Oh, well, I uh, I like this. And uh, you mentioned compound, and one of the things that uh, Sparky was telling me is that the tire that he put on Mike's bike was really hard to put on. Yeah. Does th is this a softer compound? No, or is this it's easier? It's actually a harder. It's harder. But it's also because it's designed for higher speeds. Um, it's puncture resistant, so this way, if, if you do hit those top speeds and you do catch a puncture, mm -hmm. it's not just gonna burst and and kind of come out of the bead. Okay. So it's it's safer. All right. Um, so this you said is bigger. Yeah. I guess this uh, Mikey couldn't use on his. No, you can. You could. Yeah, but I'm not sure what the bandit clearances are. Like, so because it doesn't look, look as wide RS, as this. Yeah, one. exactly. It might, that's the biggest issue with these tires, right? You might have some slight rubbing if, it, if it's too wide. <laughs> um, and that's the reason why we actually have a staggered setup. If you notice, the rear is it, wider man. than the front. Ooh, sorry. Yeah, I'm seeing that. And, that's, and even with that, if you look closely to the fork, it's like very minimal as far as the gap there. It's very close to rubbing. Oh, and that's the biggest you could actually put. But it actually looks cool. It looks nice. Yeah, when it, it looks really nice. like that. Everything, everything from the paint, the wheels, the uh, the accents on the spring dropouts. I'm just surprised it didn't go with the yellow handlebars. So actually, we put those handlebars on there just so we can kind of move the bike oh, around. Yeah. But okay. he is getting yellow. Oh, handlebars. he is. Oh, yeah. All right, cool. Man, I want to see this one when it's done. It's like a powerful Litner signature thing going on now. I see. So, the colored bars are part of like the aesthetics now with everyone's builds. Mm -hmm. So with Santos, he's got the yellow accent. I have, well, for my RX, those are my bars up there, the pro taper. Oh, so, oh, wow. Now that's a nice update. <laughs> Mackie, you are a trendsetter, you know that, right? No. Here, this is my box of goodies for my build. Nice. Very nice. So here, or lime green. These are my dropouts. That's gonna go on there, too. And some secret stuff. Secret stuff, yeah, a lot of things need to be kept secret. <laughs> Not yet, at least. Well, yeah, for the reveal, then, then well, everybody will know. But I would love to do something like that. I would love to do any type of accent like that. You guys are trend setters, you know that, right? Mm -hmm. Watch, oh, so many people are gonna start doing this because I think it looks great, yeah. personally. 
Uh, I can only imagine everybody else when, when this gets out there. What are you doing over there? Oh, huh? so Tejos, right? <laughs> is uh, this te Tejos? Yeah, this is Tejos. So it was actually, I sanded it down yesterday. This is the first coat of the stain. I'm probably, I'm gonna go one, I'm gonna go darker, uh -huh. but he wants a white cover. Uh -oh. So it's gonna be actually a half and half. It's gonna be white and then like, uh, I, I kind of drew this out like the Filipino sun. Oh, how cool is that? But that, I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm not gonna disclose, disclose all the much? information because okay. it's gonna be a surprise for right. Tejo. So we got a small update yeah, here. Yeah, it's a little hint of what's gonna happen. Well, that's good. Because I didn't, I didn't, you know, I told Tejo I don't want to paint it completely white because then I like the wood grain. Yeah. Kind of gives it that rich, kind of classy, yeah. expensive onyx look, yeah. especially when they're kind of clear coated like yours. Mm -hmm. Well, so you know, when I purchased mine, I didn't like the wood at all. Yeah. And it wasn't until the wood finally came in, yeah. and I actually saw it up close yeah. that I appreciated it. Yeah, when it's and when I was it's like, finished. Wow, this is really like, nice. It is. So I told them I'm gonna definitely leave that out, like just a little hint of of it, but mm -hmm. I will do what he asked which is he wanted a white one uh, so throw some white in there yeah me. i'm gonna throw some white in and there. then the sun is looking nice is the sun gonna be uh white or is it gonna be more I like the, I don't the, know the flag i colors? think it will be white yeah yeah well i originally like this thing over here this is what i wanted to do until i saw what you were doing and then you know that that whole idea went out the door yeah. So the free range thing came in and I still like your cover. Oh, I, I love my cover. <laughs> it's clean. I yeah, love but it. he can make you same thing on this one. What do you mean? Same like what you have now on your cover. No. Then I'll cover up my my his artwork. No, but that's all. If you're gonna go bigger battery, then you're gonna have to do that, right? Oh, is that why he's doing this? Yeah, it's hollow inside. Look at this. Whoa, oh, so this is a major update. Yeah, this is not, not just, just a aesthetics. small update. No. Oh, I thought this was completely for aesthetics. No. So your plan is to make an even bigger battery yeah, for now, the Onyx? Because the oh. Onyx battery stops here, this one rises. Yo. This is actually optional. We're going to make a range extender inside. We'll fit inside and then you cover everything. Yeah, this is different. We did from the, this before. Too. We did this before. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you, like you two have, years ago, we did. If you have pictures of, really of what you did before, can you uh, send I have it? to see. Yes. Can include Be it this? Before being <laughs> flat here, and then I and here <laughs> they had a lid, the and I used the epoxy. I cleaned. I, I uh, glued the the lid, uh -huh. and then. This part I cut inside, and then I fit battery. Oh my God! This and is... now I ordered from this guy who printing this for us. <laughs> I ordered this without anything inside, so it is ready for the battery. Yeah, yeah. Only what I would like that he doesn't have those inside parts. Okay, so you can build your battery square. Out. square. I got you. Some footage. Yeah, uh, square footage. Yeah. I got you. Wow! I thought this was. Completely for aesthetics. I didn't think that this was actually for a, a bigger battery. Right. Wow. So you guys are gonna make a lot of people happy. <laughs> I have no idea. Well, and then, and then, uh, hey, this and is then Mackie before. will get creative, That's, like like yeah. doing something like this, right? Yeah, all done. Let's Let's it off. That's how initially it been. <clears throat> that was the original. No, this one is original. Right, right. Yes. No, no, this is the original. And then I ask, no, no cover lid uh -huh. that, that can be open. So where's the? And then with hole inside. Oh shit! Oh wait. I love that idea. Mm -hmm. Onyx, Onyx owners are gonna be super happy. Yeah. Uh, this one is far from the original form. Now this one is now forged carbon. So this is just. 2000 grit sanded, mm -hmm. but when it's actually clear coated, then you see it's true colors. Oh, wow. Then how's, how's gonna look? So, if you look, it's like in depth in there where you see all the little forged carbon fiber pieces with gold flakes. Oh, that's real nice. <clears throat> so, so, not only can they get a a range extender in the onyx right yeah they're gonna have that type of a cover and they're gonna have you <laughs> yeah carbon it or De decorate it or, or yeah, pretty this much has a do compartment you, you can 
technically put your charger in there, mm -hmm. but this doesn't have the range extender because, right. because but, of but that. You guys this is version number one. <laughs> the other one is number two. Are you are you offering both of these options? And is this on the website now? No. So no, it's, it's custom. Something, something they have to call? We can do any customization. So whatever people have in their mind, call us and then we will make it. What is this? What are you working on? That looks pretty. 72 volt, 17 amp hours, battery 180 amps discharge rate. Excellent range extender on Super 73s oh. or any bike. In shark. So this you can add on to your existing 72 volt, 51, 51 amp hours, hour additional 17 amp hours. Oh, oh shit! Uh, additional 17 amp hours give you how, how much 180. range? Oh, depends of controller, but well, let's say 15 to 25. Miles? Depends, yeah, miles. Okay, so like depends some, of controller and how hard you right, ride. Somebody's running this thing and they go 100 or whatever miles, it goes dead, and now they can use this. No, they're gonna be together. Home. No, they're gonna be together in parallel. Oh, you can't. You they, can't they're, use gonna, them they're gonna act like one huge oh, battery. Okay. So, so 51, 51 and 17. Basic. Okay. 51, so 68 and powers together. <laughs> All right, who's getting this one? Me. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> Yeah, you put on your bike. When's the first group ride? We'll see. We'll see. Stay tuned. Ah, I can't Stay wait. tuned. Okay. Stay tuned. All right, that'll be a, a future update video. Stay Bring tuned. But this is not the only bike. thing what we're preparing on my bike. Oh, really? We're preparing a lot more stuff on my bike. All right. So at least the, uh, people that watch my video will get a sneak peek as to what, what's yes. coming. Yes. All right. I like yes. that. We're going to call the ride the Power Rangers. <laughs> <laughs> They got power and range. And they all have colors, <laughs> unique colors. <laughs> Is it heavy? Is it heavy, Rob? Well, got some girth to it. I mean, 17 amp yeah. hours. That's what she said. <laughs> it's gonna be biggest battery on RX. Oh, okay. Which one? His. <laughs> You're combined? Yeah. You're gonna have like 80 amp hour, bro. Or no, more. no, that's live. Oh, that would be great. Thank that's you. Live. It's gonna be more. My man. Some yeah. power. Yeah, that's good. That looks nice. That looks Ooh. really, really nice. Yeah, yeah shit, I need it. All right, I'm back to my RX. Uh -oh. <laughs> I think this is gonna be the thumbnail, Rob. So smile for me. <laughs> I get freaked out when I see my face on camera. <laughs> All right, don't look at me. <laughs> oh shit! There's the thumbnail. <laughs> that looks really good. Yo, that looks good, baby. I know. <laughs> Daddy. I know. Hey, yeah, guys, keep it going. That would be a nice chill. reel. <laughs> Yo, son, chill. This bag right here is going out to. Richie with the uh, with the Hornet Bandit. It's for his brand new Bandit that he just got back from paint. Um, who's who's assembling the bike for him right now? Inspire guys. Inspires assemblies. Okay, so this is a brand new material that I've been working for the bags with the bags. It's actually padded with an eighth of an inch of a uh, headliner. And Richie's what size bag battery is Richie getting? Fifty one amp hour. Okay, fifty one amp hour. This is gonna have the straps on the bottom. So when Richie gets his battery, the battery will be secured with these straps so it can help, help keep it from bouncing up and down. And the material is waterproof on the inside. It's lined with PVC plastic panels. Um, Material on the outside is also waterproof. And this bag is gonna be mounted directly to the frame and see if we can find another location to mount it onto the bike. But this is specifically for the uh, for the uh, Spark Cycles Bandit and there's a space here where wires can exit out of. And of course, you have the logo 
Vinyl by Bobby, PowerfulLithium.com. These bags are only available from Powerful Lithium. I do not make these bags uh, to order unless it's from Powerful Lithium and they have a specific request for a battery. So, at least for now, that's where I'm at. And uh, the Velcro straps. I didn't think I was gonna like Velcro until I just saw these guys that you uh, put yeah, in this bag. Yeah, I mean, there's other ways that you can mount it. Um, but for now, because uh, this is a new design for spark cycles, so with once the battery's inside there, mm -hmm. we may maybe we can just cut these off. But if there is a problem with the battery swinging up top, we have support. Yeah, well, me personally, I here. like it. I like this touch. Yeah, I don't think that it's going to be an issue because the um, the gravity is going to be 51 amp hour. It's not, so it's not. this bag it's is five inches wide. He can fit a large capacity battery inside this, so it's not going to be swinging up top at all. You know, so if he wants to use them, he can. If not, we'll just cut them off. And also, a nice little touch that I added on here was this Velcro. So this is soft side Velcro. If you have any patches that you want to add on to your bike, logos or whatever, morale patches, just stick it right onto the Velcro. If you want to cover up my stuff, just stick it right <laughs> onto the Velcro. Who would want to do that? Who would want to do that? Great design, great job. I love it. So some companies, they're using this crap to make casing of the batteries. Look at this. That's it, done. So no protection. No, this is it. Between cells and heat shrink. This is it. Or between cells and metal enclosure. So if is this damaged to metal enclosure, bomb. Fire. Fire. This is others. Is that what you're using? Yes. This is us. Polycarbonate. Look. Yeah. Look. You see difference? There's a big difference. Huge difference. This is every our battery is cased in this. Every. You can't pop. You can't break this. Yeah. It's very hard. That's good protection. Eight by four feet, uh, feet uh -huh. is like twelve box. This one, mm -hmm. this sheet is like hundred ten dollars for the same size. Same size. Oh, I know why they don't use it. You see difference? Yeah. Start to argue, and you you're gonna get into that, right? <clears throat> All right. So there you have it. There's a lot of things that are happening Andy, in this why shop. Why cutting wire with scissors? Oh, why? And there's a lot of. Cut it. Why? No, it's not gonna cut. And there's no, a lot of things. It's the same thing. It's not the same thing. Look, it's not the same thing. Right. Yeah, you shut the fuck up. So there's, so there's a lot of things going on here at Powerful Lithium. Why don't you make sure you do that shit the right way, alright? A lot of things to look out for. A lot of things are coming. Uh, updates. Uh, new bikes. What? Why? Bro, this is the best. So stay tuned you for those updates. Do it better. Tell this fucking guy to do it. So right? many He's things. So many things are happening. Like right now. But anyway, uh, if you guys enjoyed what you saw, please don't hesitate and smash the like button. Leave a comment. Because I get Because I get back to everybody. And if you want, please subscribe. So until the next video. Peace out everybody. You ready? Go, go after Rob. Ready? <laughs> go. All right. So you guys saw a little so bit of Rob, what's going on down on here at Powerful Lithium. They are um, Pirellis. Small Pirellis. ones, baby tires. That's what they use, bro. Why need balloon? Small balloon tires. <laughs> what, what you got in your bike is a balloon. <laughs> no, your so bike if you is guys. And, and like six inches wide, like a, yes. like a fucking Kawasaki. Of course, <laughs> my bike is Kawasaki, yes. So if you enjoyed what you saw, please don't hesitate. Smash that like button, leave a comment, because I get back to everybody. And if you want, please subscribe. Until the next video, peace out everybody.